Hey there everybody, it's Mecha Draco coming to you with another video. And in today's video, we're going to talk about Black Lives Matter. Specifically, we're going to talk about an encounter with Black Lives Matter at a Trump rally in DC. So at the rally, as, it, as you can probably expect, the Black Lives Matter movement activists uh, did show up to pretty much just protest the movement a little bit, the, the rally itself. Uh, they weren't really there to say much, but I think it's because they didn't feel like they were going to be able to say anything. Uh, however, as the, you can see this video, as we show it here in just a moment, uh, goes along, we can actually see that that actually is not the case. Black Lives Matter actually does, in fact, get a chance to talk on the platform because the Trump rally actually gives them an opportunity to, which is honestly an amazing thing to see. It's one of the things I've always really wanted to see one of us and one of our individuals to say and do not so much be demanded that they be given the speech or give, be demanding that they are given the, the platform, but instead offered the platform out of solidarity because they themselves are also American just as much as anybody else. And that's something I great to see. And I really am proud of all of the movement, all of the individuals there at the movement at the rally. Uh, it was really actually great to see that because that's real American conversation, what we really need to be seeing more of in this day and age. And it's a, it's really good to see that because it's something uh, I, I myself strive for within all of the stuff that I do when it comes to politics, all the stuff that I talk about. It's striving to have an open dialogue between individuals and a res mutual respect for everybody to understand that we are all Americans, we are all humans. And we all have things that we have to take care of and all the things that we have to deal with. And the only way we're ever going to get to a solution for all of this is if we actually talk about it. So let's go on ahead and do the video and we'll show and show it off a little bit so that way you guys can actually see precisely what it is I'm talking about. And it's about critical speech and it's about celebration. So what we're going to do is something we're not used to. And we're going to give you two minutes of our platform to push your message out. Now, whether they disagree or agree with your message is irrelevant. And it's the fact that you have the right to have the message. I am an American. And the beauty of America is that when you see something broke in your country, you can mobilize to fix it. So as you can see from the video, it's pretty heartwarming. Obviously, of course, I didn't show the whole video and I didn't speak throughout it because I wanted you guys to see the whole message as, as much as I could, obviously, of course, without, you know, breaking any copyrights or anything like that. But the fact is, I wanted you guys to see the video as much as possible and I want to go ahead and give my critique on the particular video and obviously of course I did cut up the video so you didn't get the whole thing so please check out the video uh, when you have the opportunity to it is on Facebook for the um, now this politics uh, I will go ahead like I said link the video in the description below so please check it out if you have the opportunity to 
But I want to talk about it because it's one of those images and one of those pictures and stuff like that that I just, I, it, it's heartwarming. It really is, honestly. Uh, one of the things I will always say about Black Lives Matter myself is, is that I, I never necessarily disagreed, but I never really agreed with everything that Black Lives Matter did. I, and of course, the imagery and the other things like that that are oftentimes blown up by the media, while of course, uh, just a multitude of acts and treatment of Black Lives Matter movement individuals, in the way they treat other people, the way they have in fact portrayed themselves, has never been in a good light, in my opinion. Now, the baseline of what Black Lives Matter stands for, I've never disagreed with. They've always sort of agree, or sort of tried to push the idea that they're not about going after individuals who are good cops. They're not about. They're trying to get rid of bad cops. Trying to find justice for individuals who've lost their lives. Now, I think a lot of people still have that argument, and I think there is still conversation to be had when it comes to this type of stuff. Such as, for example, black-on-black -black crime and the tremendous amount of disproportion it is from the population and everything else like that. And there's got to be an, a solution there as to why. But there's also, of course, got to be a discussion about uh, police brutality, police training, and just in general, police interaction with the communities. And I'm not saying that necessarily all police are bad or that all police don't know how to do it. I'm just saying that there's obviously a problem or else so many people wouldn't actually be saying that there is. In the long run, what's really impressive about this whole thing is that the Trump rally was able to give Black Lives Matter an opportunity to speak their mind. And the rally goers, though they didn't agree, obviously, as you can clearly see from a few of the shots, did not agree with everything that the Black Lives Matter individuals had to say. They definitely agreed when they heard what they agreed with. You know, they agreed. And obviously, as you can see from that ending, that there was a whole newfound mutual respect from both sides. It's not just the individual there who... The actual like president there, it's not that he found new respect for them, it's that the other individuals found new new respect for him as well. And it's it's both sides, as he himself said, not giving away anything, but coming to a mutual understanding and coming to a point where they can communicate their ideas and show respect towards one another. And that's something that I not only like am so happy to see but I really hope to see more of. I hope to see more of this kind of connection between individuals, between movements like this, between rally goers, Trump supporters, Black Lives Matters, and maybe someday we can all work together to get rid of Antifa because I don't think Antifa's ever going to make the attempt to actually come together. But maybe, if they ever do, maybe one day we can talk to them too. But anyways... That's all I'm going to do with this particular video. I certainly hope you liked it. If you did, you guys know the drill by now. Go and hit that like button if you liked it. If you really liked it, go and hit that share button. And of course, if you loved it and you haven't already, go and hit that subscribe button. And of course, as always, guys, good luck out there. And don't forget to have fun.